What's up guys this is Ardik here and today we will showing you the turbo rom for the Moto G2 or Moto G2014 edition so I have been using this rom for like one odd day and I will be showing you how to flash it also I will be showing you the review for this rom so if I just go into the settings real quick and if I just go into about phone as, as you can see it is the turbo rom and which is based on Android 6.0.1 marshmallow so if I just tap here you get the marshmallow uh, so there you go then going back one good thing about this ROM here is you get the turbo OTA as well so I'll be showing you to flash this so to flash just go into your recovery mode so if you don't have a reboot option just power off your device and then I'll be showing you how to get into recovery mode so once your device is turned off just have to do is hold the power and volume down at the same time for like 5 odd seconds and then leave it then you'll be into the bootloader mode which is right over here then as you can see second option is the recovery mode so just press the volume down and go to the recovery and then press volume up to select the recovery so it will take you to the TWRP recovery I suggest updating your TWRP recovery first and then flashing because if you have an older version of TWRP recovery your device or this ROM or the G apps will not get flashed so just update your TWRP and then be back so once your TWRP is updated uh, the latest version is 3.0.23 uh, just have to do is go to backup and make a backup first uh, and then just have to do is go to wipe Select advanced wipe, select Dalvik art, cache, data and system. Do not select the internal storage and the micro SD card because if you have your files in those, that will get formatted as well. So once that's done, swipe to um, wipe and then go to install. Select the SD card or internal storage and then select the Titan ROM and the bank G apps. I'll be providing both the files in the description below so I'll check the description out as well. So once everything is flashed right, you just have to do is reboot your system and then you're good to go and you just have to wait until your system is reboot. Here you go. Uh, so once your device is rebooted as you can see you'll get the turbo thing over there and then just swipe to unlock. So this here is the basic launcher or the default launcher that you'll be getting with the turbo ROM. So no Google now launch over here. You also get a Tur Tuga Chrome something like that. So that's a good thing. Also the GF that we flashed did not consist of all the Google apps as you can see. So you just have the Play Store, uh, which is enough actually, and then you can basically install all the other apps from the Play Store itself. Uh, so we'll just quickly go into the settings, and I'll we'll be checking out what all we get in this ROM. So once in the settings you get all the basic things that are right over here then you get a theme option over here so you can add themes to your device as well you just have to do is remember and allow as you can see the layer is pre-installed here so that's a really really good thing as so yep you're good to go and then you can still install the any layer overlays that you get so it won't stop regularly but you can install uh, the themes from the play store and then it will be done correctly then go into turbo tweaks and here are tons of tweaks in this roms so as you can see the general ui here you can change the battery bar the expand desktop you can also change the hd density which is the dpi of a device so you can change it to any or change it to whatever you like so you can just select your number randomly and then just reboot your device and you're good to go then you have the gestures swiping over to the left as you can see you get the charging current that is basically the charging uh, number or the percent that the, your device is charged then you get the shortcuts and wallpaper changing weather changing app blur settings and tons of feature also you have multitasking i'll be getting that uh, into that later but i'll just enable the multi window for now so i'll be getting into that later then you can also uh, customize the recent panel then you can customize the nav bar you can also add or subtract or delete any nav buttons you want you can even swap them if you want then you have the quick settings panel which is basically this one Right, which is right over here you can customize that as well uh, you can 
uh, enable the quick pull down if I select right and if I just swipe once it will basically take me to the quick panel here right away uh, without even um, making me to twicely swipe the quick settings to get into quick settings you can also show the weather app you can also customize the status bar as you can see so you can show the battery percentage brightness control carrier label you can set anything you want you can also change the color of your uh, status bar something like that then the at the end you get the system so you can change the buttons as you can see here uh, so if you just go to buttons you can select the hardware or volume rockers you can basically change the uh, layout of the those so backlight this has the on screen buttons so no hardware keys so <laughs> i don't know why this option is there in this rom but yep there you go then going back uh, if you scroll down you have the brightness and lights you get the notification light so you have to enable that and you can customize it as per your wish then as you can see there are dashboard columns rotation font size ambient display so it's enabled by default uh, so if you get a notification it will be displayed on your lock screen itself and then scrolling down you have notifications sounds and vibrations storage and usb you get the micro sd card so i guess as this is um a marshmallow rom you can select your uh, micro sd card as an internal storage so there you go format as internal storage and your sd card will be set as your internal storage so let's say if you're running low on your internal storage you can use your sd card to save all the apps and stuff so it will be directly uh, gone into your sd card which is your internal storage so that's a really good thing then going on to battery life battery life here is not that good actually uh, roughly like three and a half hours of screen on time maximum not more than that but then i already did test it only for like a day or so but yeah it's it's not good then scrolling down you have date and time backup and reset weather provider this is something new so you can customize the clock widget that you get on your home screen from the settings itself so that's a good thing then going back you have memory which will basically tell you how much ram you have free over 3 hours or 12 hours or even a day so just have to check that also it will tell us how many apps are in used in memory so going back again you have all the basic things as i said apps language and input uh, then you have Viper for Android pre-installed in this ROM, so that's a really good thing. Uh, update the V4 driver. Yes, why not? Super audio quality, okay. I love. Okay. So just wait. Done. Okay. Um, going back here. We go to develop options as you can see you can restart system UI itself then you can enable and debugging and all the normal stuff that you have in your developer option you also have a root access thing over here uh, so just select the apps and adb and then you're good to go then going back you have for kernel auditor remember allow it will basically it will be asking for root again and again unless you hit on remember so i prefer suggest hitting on remember and then you're good to go then going back here in about phone again as i said you get the turbo ota moto g2014 on android 6.0.1 marshmallow also the build or the security patch level is on may 2016 so that's a really good thing also you'll get the ota for the june 2016 so that will be on its way uh then what else if you see you have uh, add away installed pre-installed in this rom so no ads <laughs> so that's a really good thing also we'll be checking out the camera real quick so the interface as you can see is normal and um, nothing fancy here so if i just click a picture there you go shutter is a little slow but again it's based on 6.0 rom and this is not the official google camera so yeah it will be slow then you have all the settings right over here basically this is the camera that you get in aosp rom so yeah again this is rom is based on aosp so nothing much then you have flash mode picture size picture quality and then you can mess with the settings then you have video mode as well again here panorama and stuff like that so this is the camera basically 
then going back into app drawer you have developer tools so let's see develop options and things so I won't be messing with this right now but you can mess with this if you have your ROM installed or flash on device then we have omni switch which will basically uh, enable the omni thing that if you swipe from right over here it will give you all the options on your device so if you don't know what that is uh, just check it out for yourself but yeah again you have music phone all the normal things uh, except the google things you only have the play store so you could download any apps that you want from the play store itself no compulsion or no bloatware pre-install but uh, you can install it if you want you can install the uh, other g apps but if it doesn't work you just have to do is install uh, the the bank g apps that will provide in the description below which will only basically uh, install the play store so if you want you can install another one also i'll be providing them in the description as well but if nothing works bank g apps to the rescue so yeah that's been it guys uh, nothing much you have the gallery app over here so which is normal gallery and you have email play store uh, the tuga something i guess it's a modded chrome app or something welcome to the browser okay it's the tuga app or something like that so i guess it, i'm guessing that it's a modded google chrome nothing much here so yeah that's been it guys think about this video if you want to know more about this or any more roms on this phone just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be making videos on them as well but anyways that's been it guys thank you for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next one